Hey, what's up, everyone? UFC 276 was a blast. Thank you so much, Israel. Thank you so much, David. Thank you so much, the rest of Team Adesanya. It was an awesome weekend, awesome stay there. When we got to Vegas, we explored the New Strip and the Old Strip, met up with some friends that took a road trip from LA to Vegas, hit up a couple casinos, hit up a bunch of restaurants, got the full UFC experience there. We saw the press conferences, saw the ceremonial weigh-ins. The actual fight just outclassed Cannoneer right there and still never doubted the after party too. Got to meet Nate Diaz, some of the other fighters there, saw Chuck Liddell, saw Rampage Jackson. Everyone was having a great time. My sister says thank you for the birthday present as well. So really, really appreciate it, guys. David, I know we're one and all. You got a good takedown on me, but I'm going to be looking for my rematch soon. All right. Thank you guys again. Appreciate it. Yes. The selfish intent of wanting to preserve peace it makes so much sense with this. Initiates wars. Yeah. Wake up to reality. Nothing ever goes as planned in this accursed world. As long as there is a concept of victors, the vanquished will also exist. The selfish intent of wanting to preserve peace. Touch buzz at this time if you wish. Initiates wars. Schooling well rounds and mixed martial artists. Jared Cannonier was game, he was tough, but in all likelihood, not enough for the class of the 185 pounders, the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And still, the undisputed UFC champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. We know who's next, that part-time, Boha. Let's go. 